Good day and welcome to Caribbean Connect. I am Rian Kersenhout, your host for today's episode. Today I have with me the Chief Executive Officer of the Toranica Hotels Group, Mr. Dave Bauke. Mr. Bauke, welcome and thank you for joining us today. It's a pleasure, really. Yeah. You would have hosted the 43rd CARICOM Conference of Heads of Government and it must have been quite an organization, even though I know you are quite versed in hosting major events. What was most significant this time around in the preparation for this conference? I would say um, two things. Um, first of all, um, having a CARICOM Heads of uh, Government conference um, I would say three days after another big event, we had the uh, oil and gas summit. So in terms of logistics, it, it, was, it was a, a challenge. Uh, you have to think of it as changing your um, property from an exhibition hall to a more um, conference uh, type of setting. So um, I would say that was, was definitely uh, sig significant. Um, Second of all, um, these two events were the first big events after COVID. COVID. So dealing with a lot of people uh, on, um, on, the, on the premises. And why I'm saying that is we had never expected uh, for demand to skyrocket immediately after uh, COVID. Um, if you look at the WHO predictions, they had predicted uh, for demand to go back to normal um, back in um, or in, in 2024. What we saw happening immediately after uh, restrictions got lifted was that um, everybody started traveling. Um, so significant, um, to, to wrap it up a bit, was that we had to look at demand in terms of how do you look at government demand for this conference, but also your other guests. So yes, that was definitely a challenge, but we managed um, to, um, to have uh, the 15 heads of government all within, I would say, most, most of them in two properties of the Terrarica Group. Yes, indeed. Yes. So you mentioned COVID-19 and the two major events that came back to back. How exactly did you manage after COVID-19 and, and post-COVID? How did you manage to do it successfully? Uh, I think what we did during COVID is um, to use our time uh, wisely. Um, we uh, definitely worked on um, motivational programs for our staff because, I mean, staff, uh, your employees are, are, are the heart of, um, of our business, the hospitality. So um, uh, we worked on, on motivational campaigns, appreciation days, uh, sessions with our staff. Uh, we had um, also a program where whereby we promised um, uh, personnel which contracts were terminated because they had temporary contracts and we, we kind of made a promise to them when we do need you again we will we will ask for you to come back and what we saw happening is that there are a lot of employees who had worked for us before who are back. I think that's one of the, 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 the ways that we, we cope with them. Otherwise, you have a shortage in, 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 in staff. So we, we worked on um, trying to keep our employees motivated uh, because it, it, should, it should be a, a running machine and, and mill in, yeah. indeed. Um, so um, that's, that's one way we, we try to to cope with with the aftermath of uh, of, of COVID, and yes, it, I mean, like I said, uh, a, a lot of demand. Uh, we we continued with renovations uh, as as much as we could in the hotel to keep up with your, I mean, with your physical property. Um, so those were were a few things we did how how we coped with um, with the aftermath. Wonderful, yeah. um, Mr. Balka, I must ask, do you and the Terrarica Hotels Group have any ambitions for regional expansion? I get this uh, question quite a lot, so that's why I'm laughing. Um, our focus for the coming years, so I would say short, short term, is uh, development and growth locally. Um, so, um, yeah, like I said, locally on the premises, we have 
a lot of land. Um, Terrarica owns uh, a lot of land. So we're looking at uh, locally in Suriname expansion. But um, if we look at it long term, we um, indeed are looking um, at expansion. But I would say that is long term. Okay. Yes. And in this long term outlook, does it also correlate to the development of what is discussed in CARICOM, particularly as it relates to the competition of international hotels that are within the region and have set up quite a few years now, um, and in the competition, to fare with the competition? Are there any expectations there? Um, no, we, we as a independent, and, and I want to stress independent hot, local hotel chain, we don't fear any competition. Um, I think um, in the beginning of, of, of the com uh, this, this uh, interview, we talked about um, a successful conference, two successful conferences. Torarica has hosted many successful conferences. So we have, we have quite a, a lot of experience in, 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 in doing so in, in hospitality. Sunday on the 10th of July will be our 60th anniversary. anniversary. Um, so we will have a campaign with a century of hospitality because with Terrarica, Royal and Eco, all together this year, we will be turning 100 years. Um, so no, uh, back to the question, we don't fear um, any, any competition. I think there is enough, um, if we look at the current demand, there is enough for everybody. Um, if you look at growth, both in Guyana and Suriname, um, I don't think these two countries have to, to fear anything. So there is place for us and, and we're, we're very confident that we will uh, stand up and, and even do better in the future. That is a wonderful <laughs> note to end on. And I must extend my congratulations in advance to Sunday. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you, you so much for Thank your you. time. It's a pleasure. Yes. Thank you. Thank you for tuning in to Caribbean Connect. Till next time. Channel.